fine so yesterday we solved a few sums wherein if the tax rate is given to us we will be able to find the amount of tax to be paid that is the gst total tax to be paid gst is further equally divided into two equal parts sgst cgst so if gst is 5% both will have 2.5% 2.5% but i have told you don't go for 2.5% multiplication in decimals is always difficult multiply for 5% ha if it is 28% Definitely try to divide it fourteen percent because multiplying by fourteen is always easy than multiplying by twenty-eight. I will multiply using the table of fourteen, but I am hundred percent sure that you do not even know the table of fourteen. You will multiply by four and then multiply by one. But still, I will say that multiplying by fourteen is easy because at least I know the table still twenty, and I know that all my students, very clever ones, they do not know any tables after ten. Yes or no? Am I right? No, sir. Then, do you know the tables? Okay, chalo. I believe that you know the tables. Let us continue. So, those examples what we saw yesterday, here we reached yesterday. That is this last up question we saw about the laptop. Then, what they are saying value. of goods on which gst is levied levied means what i said the other day charged is called as taxable value so something is called as taxable value on which the gst is charged correct and then the total value or invoice value is the value of the gst if not mentioned take the selling prices as tax if not mentioned a and remember that in tax on invoice cgst amount is always equal to sgst i said always two equal amounts very quickly pawan medical supplies medicines on some medicines the rate of gst is 12% so what is cgst and sgst rate quickly 6% 6% and 6% On a certain article, if the CGST is nine percent, then how much will be SGST? Nine percent. Nine percent. And how much will be GST? Eighteen. What? What? Eighteen. Eighteen percent. Eighteen percent. Answer completely. Don't give half answers. Hello. Real paint. Messers, see this M oblique. Now again, all these are business terms. These are commerce terms. M oblique S means Messers. Messers means what? A business firm is called as Messers. Messers Real Paint sold two tins of Luster paint, and taxable value of each tin is rupees twenty eight hundred. And if the rate of GST is twenty eight percent. find the amount of cgst and sgst in the tax invoice how much would be the tax invoice of you tell me now quickly how much would be the invoice bill bill will be of how many are uh, uh, 3 One tin is of two thousand eight hundred. Likewise, two tins are sold. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So two tins will be how much? Five thousand six hundred. Yes. So it will be rupees five thousand six hundred. Yes or no? The total taxable amount. The tax should be charged on five thousand six hundred. Am I right or no, children? Yes. Sir. Yes. Because, yes, sir. Because two tins are sold. Now, what is the GST rate? Tell me. How much is GST rate given? Twenty-eight percent. So how much would be the CGST rate? Uh, fourteen fourteen. 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 Fourteen fourteen.
ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड सेवन एट फोर फोर्टीन परसेंट ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड सो इट बिकम्स हाउ मच फोर्टीन अपॉन सेवन एट फोर यस एक्सेक्टली फोर्टीन इनटू फिफ्टी सो जीरो जीरो एंड जीरो जीरो गेट कैंसल फिफ्टी सिक्स इनटू फोर्टीन इस सेवन एटी फोर आर यू श्योर यस सर Seven eighty four. You are saying? Yes, sir. Ah, so how much will be SGST amount? Seven eighty four. Again, seven eighty four because these both amounts are always the same. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And now you tell me what is the total amount? Total invoice amount or total bill amount? One thousand five hundred and. Eight rupees. How come? Five thousand five hundred sixty-eight. बेटा पहले five thousand six hundred आएगा. That is your taxable amount. Then seven eighty-four is the CGST. Another seven eighty-four is your SGST. Yes or no? Yes. Total invoice amount. I'm asking. I'm not asking you total tax amount. I'm asking you total invoice amount. Yes or no? Yes, sir. How much this comes now? So do the additions. Seven thousand one hundred sixty-eight. Two hundred sixty-eight, I guess, or one hundred sixty-eight. One hundred and sixty-eight. Yes, exactly. Seven thousand one hundred and sixty-eight is the total. Amount of the invoice, yes or no? Yes, yes, sir. So out of that, what is five thousand six hundred? Tell me. What is this called as? Invoice. Taxable amount. Taxable amount. Taxable amount. Amount which ke upper tax lagega. Tax kis ke upper lagega? Five thousand six hundred rupees ke upper lagega. Yes or no? Yes. So that is a taxable amount. What is seven eighty four called now? CGST. CGST amount. And what is S seven eighty four again? S GST amount. Yes or no? Central Goods and Service Tax amount. State Goods and Service Tax amount. And finally, seven one six eight is the total amount to be paid. You can say total bill amount or total amount. Anything you can say. This is the total amount which I will have to pay now for the paint for two cans. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Any difficulty about this? No. Are we understanding? Yes. Yes. So this is exercise four point one, question number one. I hope we are all are understanding what is going on. Any difficulty? Stop me there and there itself if you have any difficulty regarding anything. So again, let me let me say yes. Twenty eight thousand rupees for each tin. So two tins amount becomes five thousand six hundred. GST rate is twenty eight percent, so your CGST amount was fourteen percent. SGST charged was fourteen percent. Fourteen percent of five thousand six hundred gave you seven eighty four. Seven eighty four. This much was asked. Again, the taxable value of a wrist watch belt is rupees five eighty six. Rate of GST is eighteen percent. Then how much price does the customer has to pay? Who will tell me how much price he has to pay? Just same like this. How much total price he has to pay? Tell me. Five eight six plus GST. Exactly. Very good answer. Five is eighty six plus whatever is the GST. Now how will you calculate the GST? 
will you have to do it uh, eight eight. will you have to do it 9% 9% or it is not needed here no not, not needed. needed not needed because they have not asked us separately c gst and sgst directly total gst you can yes directly the total gst you can calculate just write the add the amount over here whatever is the gst suppose 18% so uh, almost 100 rupees ke aas paas aayega something like that and 586 plus 100 around 686 would be the tax this is just an example i'm huh? not i'm not sure you will do the calculations will you do it yes yes sir now this question 100 4 rupees 48 paisa gst amount very very good answer 104 rupees the total amount would be 48 paisa 0.48 paisa correct so now again important when we are dealing in our real life situations. Now see if you are going to consider this example itself, what happens? 586 was the original amount and what you have calculated? 104.48 paisa. So what would be the total amount? 690 rupees 48 paisa and 48 paisa now whatever is less than 50 paisa see 0.5 do bhi 0.5 se kam rahega wo round off kiya jata hai we ignore that and if this 0.48 goes beyond 0.50 we will add to it you know the rounding of the decimals so ultimately, ultimately it would be 690 rupees as the bill amount do you understand yes sir 0.48 paise we are going to ignore because it is less than 58 uh, less than 50 paisa so it is ignored it is rounded off do we understand yes good yes. question number 5 is a very important question now here you have to put your thinking cap dimag lagana you have to use your brains read the question carefully the total value Means this value is along with the tax total value with the GST of a remote controlled toy car is 1770. Rate of GST is 18% on the toys. Find the taxable value CGST SGST. Now they have given us the reverse so far. This value was known. We could find these two values and get the final answer. Now, the answer is given and a question is asked. So, what are we going to do? do? Again, find the taxable value. So, what will be the taxable value be? We don't know. So let the taxable value be X. Am I right? Yes, sir. GST is charged how much? 18%. 18%. Means how much will be the GST? Now now you tell me. See, listen to me now. Now, now listen to me. This is a very important question. I write there very important. Those who are those who are writing it, write it as very important. This is, I think, question number what? What is this question number? Five. Five. Question number five, let me write there as important. Now see in the solution part. Let the taxable amount, we don't know the taxable amount. Let the taxable amount be rupees X. What is given to you? GST rate is 18%. Yes or no? Yes. So what will be the GST amount? 18% of X. Yes or no? GST is always 18% of the taxable value. It's ke upar X yes. value. So how, yes. much, how much will that be? You tell me. 18 upon 100 into X. 18 upon 100 into X. 18 upon 100 is what? 0 0.18. 0 0.18 X. Yes or no? Yes. Now you tell yes. me, what is given to you, the total amount is given to you, yes or no? How much is the total amount given yes. to us? 1770. Seven. One, seven, seven, seven. And what is actually the total amount? 
टोटल अमाउंट होता क्या है बिल में इन अ बिल व्हाट इज टोटल अमाउंट टैक्सेबल अमाउंट प्लस जीएसटी एग्जैक्टली वेरी गुड इज एक्चुअली व्हाट टैक्सेबल अमाउंट प्लस द जीएसटी टैक्सेबल अमाउंट प्लस द जीएसटी कितना है अपना टैक्सेबल अमाउंट कितना है एक्स C X no plus, sir yes sir it is like that only X means what one X and zero point eighteen X so X and X you can add so one plus zero point eighteen is one point eighteen X yes or no what is one plus zero point eighteen one point eighteen yes or no yes or no yes so one yes. X Plus zero point eighteen x. What do you do? Taking out x common, distributive property, one point eighteen. Yes. Correct. Yes, sir. So this is your equation number one. This is your equation number two. Equate total amount. They have given seventeen seventy one thousand seven hundred seventy, and you know that this total amount is nothing but one point eighteen x because x is the taxable value. Point eighteen x. Is the GST amount? So 1.18x is 1770. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Now wait, all of you, pay attention. Stop writing everything and look here. Look at the screen. Stop doing all your work. See, this is a very important thing. to be understood from a business point of view what i have realized now what i have realized now that if 18% is the tax rate then 1.18 into the cost price becomes the total amount means now a simple thing if i am sitting into my shop and somebody tells me 300 rupees amount ka koi to bhi product hai jiska gst 18% hai to uska selling price kitna aayega simple thing i will do 1.18 into 300 1.18 into the cost price into the taxable value Taxable value was three hundred, so one point eighteen times of three hundred will directly give me the selling price, including the tax, point eighteen percent. Are you understanding? Yes. Sir. Same three hundred rupees wala product. Uska agar GST slab rate five percent raha, so it would be three hundred multiplied by one point zero five will directly give me the selling price. Along with the tax, for the same product of three hundred rupees, if the tax rate is twelve percent, so now my selling price would be three hundred multiplied by what? One point eighteen. One point twelve. Twelve percent is now the tax rate. I am telling you. Are you understanding? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Now another amount yes, of sir. another product is of five hundred rupees, and the GST is twenty eight percent. So what will be the selling price of this product? How will you calculate? Five hundred into one point twenty eight. One point twenty eight. Simple thing. So whatever is the tax rate, one point that much because five hundred into one. Will give me five hundred and five hundred into point twenty eight because twenty eight percent means what twenty eight upon hundred twenty eight percent means what twenty eight upon hundred which is zero point twenty eight 
and 0.28 of 500 automatically gives me the GST. Ultimately, the combination of these two becomes 1.28. Are you understanding? This is a short form. So when, if, if at all, if you are sitting into your shops or businesses and you will see, you see your father or your uncle or your grandfather, they will directly do like this. Amount 450 is the amount or 1,790 is the cost price. They will do 1,790 multiplied by 1.12 and tell the tax amount. And you don't know why they have done it 1.12 because that 0 0.12 is actually going to be the tax amount. They know it. That tax amount is 12%. So I have to multiply by 1.12. Do you understand what I'm trying to say over here? Yes, sir. So this is how we can directly calculate the final amount. No need to calculate because you are having a calculator in your hand. So you are not every time going to do taxable amount kitna hai, tax amount kitna hai, ye add kar ki kitna hai. Nobody has that much of time when you are in your shop. You have a lot of customers in front of you. Directly you should be able to do the calculations. So what you will do directly? 500 multiplied by 1.18 because 18% is a tax rate. 300 multiplied by 1.05 because 5% is a tax rate. Another item, 700 rupees ka item which is cut 12%. 700 into 1.12. Directly you get the uh, ra uh, rates. Finally, add all the rates, total bill is ready with you without even doing it on a computer. Do you understand? Those who have to do the manual bills, later on you will be doing it on the computers. Are you understanding how the things work in the business, real life business? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. Just a minute. Huh? Fine. So you will be doing those calculations now. What I have shown you that this 1770 is actually what? 1.18 times of X. On the previous page, we had seen it. So ultimately, the value of your x, x would be 1770 divided by 1.18. So to get rid of decimals, multiply by 100 here, multiply by 100 here, 1770, two more zeros divided by 118. Whatever is the factor you will divide it, get the taxable value. Once you have the taxable value, now you know how to calculate the GST amount how to calculate the CGST, how to calculate the SGST. Will you calculate the CGSTs and SGSTs for this sum? No. Yes. Who is that? No, donkey. Who is that? No. Jainam? Yes, sir. Why don't you find out? But why are you not going to find it this out? Are you understanding, children, what I'm saying? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Question number six. Important question again. Tip top electronics supplied an AC of 1.5 ton to a company. Cost of the AC supplied again. 51,200 is along with the GST. Rate of CGST is 14%. So what is rate of SGST? 14. 14%. 14. Very good. 14. How much is the rate of GST? 28. 28. How will you find the taxable value now? What is 51,200? 28% is the GST. So 1.28 times of X is equal to 51,200. Yes or no? Yes. Same like this question. X is the taxable value. Then 1.28 times of taxable value is the total value. Yes or no? Because 28% is a tax rate. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Once you find the taxable value, 
can you find the amount of gst using taxable value yes sir 14 yes, yes sir can you find the amount of cgst yes sir how much will be cgst half of gst how much will be cgst half of gst half of gst and how much will be sgst half of gst or equal to cgst yes or no huh. yes sir yes. chalo yes, so this is what you are going to find it out on your own solve it now itself everybody solve it now itself complete this question number 6 and give me the answers in the chat box let me see who is doing it correctly do it same exactly same question it is what we have done for question number 5 write the same things again let what let what taxable amount be x how much is the gst rate Twenty-eight percent. So total amount will be how much? One point Because there are two decimals, I will multiply the denominator by hundred, numerator by hundred. So five one two zero zero and two more zeros divided by one hundred and twenty eight. Four thirty two za. Forty thousand. Excellent. So X comes out to be forty thousand. Forty thousand. Yes, taxable value of AC is forty thousand. Very good answer. So now quickly answer the remaining questions. Taxable value is forty thousand. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Now tell me CGST amount. Naiga. Five six zero zero. Yes, fourteen percent of fourteen percent of four hundred. Forty thousand. So it becomes how many? Fourteen upon hundred. Fourteen upon hundred. Fifty. Forty thousand. Fifty thousand. So fourteen four is a fifty six. Fifty six hundred. Yes or no? SGST amount will be how much? Are how much? Same. Then tell no. How much is the total amount? How much is the total GST amount? Eleven thousand. Eleven thousand. What eleven thousand? Eleven thousand. हो गया कि नहीं खत्म सब सम क्या हो गया बताओ फोर्टी थाउजेंड इज योर टैक्सेबल अमाउंट इलेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड इज योर टैक्स अमाउंट एंड फिफ्टी वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड वॉज द टोटल अमाउंट टैलिड यस और नो Yes. yes. Are we understanding what we are doing and what are we solving? बात समझ में आ रही है? Yes. 
Fine. Chalo, last question for the day. Again, I'm going to discuss. You are going to solve. Prasad purchased a washing machine from Maharashtra Electronic Goods. The discount of five percent was given on the printed price of rupees forty thousand. Five percent is given over what? Forty thousand. So, how much is the discount given? Two thousand rupees. Two thousand. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So now, what is the taxable amount from forty thousand? Subtract the discount. Thirty-eight thousand. Exactly, thirty-eight thousand. Very good. Is your taxable amount? Yes or no? Yes. How much is the GST? Twenty-eight percent. Over what? Abi twenty-eight percent kiske upper lagayenge? Thirty-eight thousand. Exactly. So your GST would be what? Twenty-eight percent of thirty-eight thousand. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. What yes, will be sir. the purchase price of the machine? How much will be the purchase price? Thirty-eight thousand. Forty thousand. Forty thousand. Plus GST. Yes or no? Yes. yes. How will you find out CGST and SGST? Half of GST. Yes. So first thing we will find the GST. That is twenty-eight percent of thirty-eight thousand. Thirty-eight thousand. Ha. Forty thousand. Ka machine hai. Five percent discount he is offering. Five percent of forty thousand is two thousand rupees. So two thousand is straight away subtracted. Amount remaining is only thirty-eight thousand. So twenty-eight percent is the GST. So twenty-eight percent of thirty-eight thousand will give us the total tax. And then total tax you can very easily divide into two equal parts, which are going to give you CGST and SGS. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Any doubt till here? No. Have you understood how to find the SGSTs and how to find the CGSTs? How to find the total GST? If the total amount is given, how to go back and found the actual taxable value? Can you do all these kind of things now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody. Yes, sir. Fine. So I think we will stop over here for the day. Tomorrow we will continue with the next part that is the GST chain. So. Consumer pays to the wholesaler, uh, retailer, retailer pays to the wholesaler, wholesaler pays to the manufacturer, manufacturer to the government, and how the entire tax amount reaches the government. That GST chain, tax chain, we will study tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Yes. Sir. Sir. Chalo. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Good night. Sir. Bye. Bye. Sir. Good night, sir. Bye, sir. Good night. Sir. Good night sir.